Over the years, calcium, lime, and rust builds up on your shower surround, and despite the use of countless cleaning products, you eventually end up with a shower that has a nasty, scratched, and dulled surface. If you're tired of that bathroom that no one wants to use, or you're looking to sell the house in the near future, I'm going to show you my technique to polishing the surface and bringing back that shine it once had. I'm going to start out with 1000 grit sandpaper, but depending on the damage to your surface, you may want to consider 4 or 800 grit as your starting point. In my case, I happen to have a palm sander, but this could be done by hand if you're ambitious, or an orbital sander could be used as well. You'll want to keep the surface wet while sanding to wash away any sanding dust and to prolong the life of your sandpaper. Next, we'll move on to 2000 grit paper. If you happen to have 1500 or you're looking for absolute perfection, you could throw that in between as well. The goal is to remove any scratches we may have left with the 1000 grit paper and get us one step closer to that smooth, glossy surface. Some hand sanding will likely be needed around all the corners and edges. Just follow the same steps working from 1000 grit all the way up to 2000 grit or higher. Next step, we'll get into the polishing compounds. If you're going for perfection, there are a number of automotive multi-step compounds that probably work great for this process, but in my case, I'm going to stick with just a single step compound. If you happen to have a power buffer, this is a great time to use it. In my case, I've got this great little 6 inch electric model I picked up a while back for about 30 bucks. This could be done by hand, but you're going to get one hell of a workout if you do so. Last up, we need to protect the surface and hopefully make it less likely for the contaminants to adhere to the surface in the first place. So we'll use an automotive grade wax on the surface. Simply rub it on with a slightly damp cloth and once it gets hazy, buff it off to a shine. After completing this panel, I can see the damage is more severe than I originally thought. So starting with a coarser sandpaper like 4 or 800 grit probably should have been done. But overall you can see the results, where the panel on the right actually reflects the bottle sitting on the shower floor, where the panel on the left is as dull as a doornail. Overall, the shower surround looks a thousand times better than it did before, and the most noticeable difference is it's actually white versus the yellow color it was before. If you like this technique, please give this video a thumbs up, and if you have any suggestions to improve the process, please post a comment below. As with all things, I'm sure there are some that disagree with this technique, so please feel free to voice your concerns, but be civil about it. It's not like these shower surrounds are going to last forever anyway.